Hi everyone, it's great to see you. How's your week been? Mine, if I'm really honest, has been one of extremes. Highs and lows, high highs and low lows. My role as hospital chaplain is often quite demanding and recently we've had some staff members pass away for different reasons and we've been supporting bereaved teams. Then my role swings to doing a really exciting radio interview and we get presented with gift boxes for our chaplaincy team and I'm the representative who receives the gifts and does an interview. So it swings from tragedy to highs and uh, excitement. I've had two funerals I've officiated at in the last week. And for those of you that don't know, Glenn and I are expecting our first grandchild in November. Our daughter in Canada and her husband are expecting a baby. So that's a great high for us, a great means of excitement and joy and anticipation. And so there's lots of extremes. For me, I rarely have a week that is humdrum. There's always something going on. There is always some highs and there is always some lows. Recently, I was preaching at church from Philippians chapter 4. Here, Paul talks about the extremes of life. He talks about when he's fed or when he's hungry or when things are amazing in his life or when things are really tough. He talks about the highs and the lows. And then he says in verse 13 of chapter 4, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. In the original language, it was written a bit more like this. If Christ will give me strength, I can do all things. In other words, if Christ will give me strength, I can cope with the extremes of life. The highs, the high highs, the lows and the low lows. The extremes of life when the pendulum swings from one extreme to another, possibly in any one given day or particularly in a given week. So I don't know how it is for you. Do you have extremes? You have things at the minute where the pendulum swings from one extreme to another. Do you know what? Extremes are pretty exhausting. Today, maybe you might accept that promise from God's word yourself, as I have this week, and really lived it out. I spoke about it and I've lived it out since. For the extremes of life, I can do all things as long as Christ will give me strength. So my prayer for you today is that you would know the strength of God in your life for any extremes that are in your circumstances right now. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.